Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 3 of our lesson energy. So in part 3 we will discuss about nuclear energy. So without wasting much time. So let's get started into our discussion. So what is nuclear energy? So the energy that is released from nuclear fission and fusion you, which is usually used to generate electricity is called nuclear energy. So let's get into a brief talk about it. So now what is nuclear energy will talk. So basically everything is made around this which is made up of atoms. So the most of the mass of the atom. So as you know, a atom is is a particle by which all objects are made. Jets are made. So everything around it is made up of tiny objects which are known as atom atoms so basically everyone knows how an atom looks like the atom contains a nucleus with protons and neutrons and ele electrons revolving outside it so basically most of the mass of each atom so the mass of each atom is basically concentrated in the center of the atom which is called the nucleus so this is called the nucleus the nucleus comprises of protons and neutrons and the rest of the mass means the whatever mass is left is concentrated in the electrons which are surrounded which are which surround the nucleus Pro, and as I said before the nucleus comprises of protons and neutrons so now this is about what the atom is and how the mass is concentrated in the atom so now let's move on to another so Sometimes the nucleus of a atom can split into two. Means if this is the nucleus with protons, protons and I mean protons with protons and neutrons, it must split under under certain circumstances. Sorry, so this nucleus can split into two under certain circumstances. So, large atom. So, the nucleus of a large atom will split into two under certain circumstances. So, so now in this process, a certain amount of large atom's mass is converted to pure energy this means that when the nucleus splits a certain am sorry a certain amount of of the large atoms mass mass is converted into pure energy so this can be represented in the equation known as e equals mc square so everyone knows that einstein has derived this formula so here 
what does this what does this variable mean so let me ask so here here is the energy m is the mass amount of mass and c is the speed of light so we know that the this c is the speed of light is about 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second which is represented by c which is known as the speed of light so now how when was nuclear energy discovered nuclear energy was di was discovered in in 1930s nineteen thirties and people conclude people got in knew, knew that that this type of energy energy is mostly used in weapons so why why they are used in weapons so nuclear energy releases a huge amount of light huge amount of light and energy so it is mostly used in weapons so this nuclear energy is created by two of the following things they are fusion and fusion. So first we'll talk about what is nuclear fusion of now or fusion we'll talk about. So what is fusion? So basically fusion is the energetic splitting of large atoms. So whatever I said before, that when nucleus of a large atom splits into two energies, this now. So that is what a fission means. So fission is the energetic splitting of large atoms. Splitting of large atoms, like uranium. or plutonium into small atoms so this is what fission means atoms called which are known as fission products so fission what is fission as i said energy splitting of energetic splitting of large atoms like any element heavier element like uranium or plutonium in the small atoms is called as fusion products in order to split the atom we split the atom split the atom it has to hit the neutron so when we hit the neutron the atom splits splits so when we hit the neutron the atom splits this is how fission works now when large atoms divide into smaller atoms then the smaller atoms will also contain neutrons now so when in when we can when we hit the neutrons continuously continuously a nuclear chain is it's produced produced which 
which sorry it is not nuclear chain is produced it is the nuclear chain nuclear chain reaction is produced which is of sustained energy release so let me repeat again so basically fission what what is fission so fission is the the energetic split, splitting of large atoms into small atoms like examples are like uranium or plutonium which which are known as fission products so you know in order for a fission the neutron of an atom should be hit due to which the atom splits into two but the atoms contain neutrons no whatever smaller atoms the larger atom is split into so due to i mean from what the smaller atoms will also contain some neutrons now so due to that a nuclear chain reaction is produced which contains this sustained energy which is released so now let's take an example where it takes so do you know what is this yes this is a nuclear power plant so how is it related to fission so basically the relation of nuclear power plant and fission is that these power plants use the process of fission in order to in order to pro- generate heat which is next turn into what electricity so this nuclear power plant uses fission to release heat which is turned into electricity so this is what a nuclear power plant now let's go to what this called fusion fusion so what is fusion so fusion is basically the combining of two small atoms such as hydrogen or helium to produce heavier atoms and energy so what fusion is fully reverse of fission this includes the combining of atoms to form heavier elements heavier so not heavier elements it is called heavier atoms and atoms and energy so basically fission fusion generates more energy compared to fission without producing as producing as many radioactive byproducts so this fusion reactions can release more energy than fission without producing as many radioactive byproducts so now basically fusion fusion reactions occur in the sun generally using hydrogen as fuel and producing helium as waste this reaction has not been commercially developed yet and is a serious research sorry and is a c sees yes research interest worldwide due to its promise of nearly limitless low pollution and non proliferative energy so this means basically fusion takes place in the sun 
what I said before that hydrogen fuel is used in sun in order to reduce helium as waste but still many but even though we know it but still this re this reaction is not commercially developed and many serious research is going on the pointer what the this is what the last point says so now you have learned about what is nuclear energy what is nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion in this video so enough for for this so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this there will be many more videos in my channel so thank you for for watching